Recovery efforts are still underway in Oso one month after that mudslide hit. On Monday, authorities raised the death toll to 41. They expect it will rise again when they find the two people still missing. And yesterday, President Obama paid a visit to the site, flying over in Marine One, and then meeting with survivors and first responders on the ground. Rescue and recovery efforts there have been intense and will go on for months. Kex Y4 is Katie Curry working for you tonight with how guardsmen from Fairchild play the big role in the mudslide search and rescue efforts. Katie? Needing more than 70 servicemen and women from Fairchild Air Force Base responded to the mudslide just days after devastation struck. The time they spent there made a huge impact on the search and rescue, and just this past Monday, Spokane City Council honored their efforts. I didn't expect anything like what we saw. I don't think anything could kind of prepare you for the amount of mud and debris that was moved down there. Sergeant Caleb Guthmiller is part of the Air National Guard that was deployed from Fairchild to Oso just four days after the mudslide. The best way to describe it is almost like quicksand. Um, every step was quite a struggle. Every time that you had to take a step to search, a lot of it was done literally on hands and knees to get to some areas because because you would sink so deep you couldn't hardly get out of it. Sergeant Guth Miller, alongside other members of the Guard, was able to make huge strides in the 10 days he was there. By the time we left, everything had been searched. Uh, we were able to drain out a lot of the standing water to actually create new areas to search and areas that we previously couldn't get to, we were able to open up. The way he sees it, he was just doing his duty. You train to do your job and you feel like you're just doing your job. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. On Monday night, the Spokane City Council honored the 141st Air Refueling Wing. In a statement, City Council President Ben Stuckert said, these Air National Guard members are our neighbors, our friends and colleagues. The work they did in Snohomish County was honorable and represented our community well. We want to personally say thank you. To be recognized for something like this is, well, it's not something we normally are used to. We're just used to doing our normal day-to-day -day job. Sergeant Guthmiller says missions like this is exactly why he signed up for the Guard. I'm proud to be part of something like that. You want to be there to help the community, help the people that, it's t that have been touched by it. And mudslide victims are still very much in the early stages of recovery. If you want to learn how you can donate to help, go to KXLY.com and click on the news links. Reporting in studio tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.